Blood pressure. Water flows with a higher pressure when you connect a tube to a pump set operating in your field or house. Also, the tubes burst open if the pressure is very high. Similarly, when the heart pumps blood into systemic aorta or into the pulmonary trunk, the blood flows with pressure in the blood vessels. The pressure with which the blood flows in the blood vessels is called the blood pressure, usually called BP. Arteries receive blood from the heart, so blood pressure is higher in the arteries. The blood pressure gradually decreases as blood flows into capillaries. When this blood is collected into veins, blood pressure is greatly reduced. So, blood pressure is less in the veins when compared to the arteries. Blood pressure is measured by doctors using an instrument called the sphygmomanometer. Blood pressure levels are written in the form of 120 by 80. This is normal blood pressure. The numerator 120 represents systolic pressure and the denominator 80 represents diastolic pressure. During the systolic, when the ventricles contract, the blood is pumped into the arteries. So the blood pressure in the arteries increases immediately after the systolic. This rise in the blood pressure in the arteries is called the systolic pressure. When the diastolic occurs, more blood is pumped by the heart. The blood vessels return to the normal diameter and maintain blood pressure at a lower level. This is diastolic pressure. Hypertension or high blood pressure. In some people, the blood pressure will be very high, more than the usual 120 by 80. Such a condition is called hypertension, usually called high BP. One of the reasons for this is the blocking of arteries by cholesterol. Constant stress and strain for a long time, improper functioning of kidneys, smoking, and alcohol consumption are also the reasons for hypertension. This condition, if not treated for a long time, may also lead to other health problems, and it may lead to the death of the person. Diet control, moderate exercise, and avoiding stress, smoking, and alcohol consumption, as well as taking appropriate medicines, will help to control